Bitcoin users have been in for quite a roller coaster this past week after trading at record highs of almost $8,000 a piece on Wednesday. The cryptocurrency lost nearly one third of its value in just over four days. Word is that the currency's developers canceled a scheduled upgrade, causing investors and traders to jump ship. Today, however, the value of Bitcoin jumped back up nearly 15%. And that's all well and good, but how does Bitcoin work? And how can we cash in? Joining me now, capitalist pig hedge fund manager and Fox News contributor, Jonathan Honig. All right, so, uh, Jonathan, welcome back. Great to be with you, Kennedy. Thank so you. And I just got to... I just got to say shoulda, coulda, woulda, despite mm -hmm. this ridiculous volatility, as you said. I mean, one Bitcoin is still up something like 500 percent this year as an investment. So despite this ridiculous uh, 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 volatility, Bitcoin is still having a banner year. All right. So how do you best use Bitcoin? Because there are some people who like to use it like gold, like a, a regular investment product where they park their money and it goes up in value and then they cash out. There are other people who want to use it like cash. And there's actually something called Bitcoin Cash. And Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are sort of at war with each other. Explain how that works. And, and, and there's also a Bitcoin Gold now. I mean, look, look, Kennedy, this is a brave, brand new world. This is like maybe 1999 or 1998 in terms of tech stocks when it comes to cryptocurrencies. It's, it's huge opportunity. I mean, they're going to be launching ETFs, exchange-traded funds, yeah. futures and options on, e on, 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 uh, on cryptocurrencies. But it's also a big risk, as you, as you said. I mean, there's nothing backing Bitcoin up. It was created, at, it's created literally out of thin air. And as you said, a currency that can drop 30% okay, in but, four days okay, is that, not how, really a how currency. How does it work? Well, it, it is a Bitcoin is a limited number or over time, a limited number of digital bytes. As I said, I mean, it's it's and that's why I think, Kennedy, it actually fails as a currency. I mean, what succeeds as a currency is something you can buy and know that it holds its value. Mm -hmm. And Bitcoin isn't backed by an asset. Uh, it, it, no. At this point, no real places are accepting Bitcoin. And if they are, they're accepting it and then just simply immediately and they're changing swapping it into dollars. for dollars. Yes. But exactly. how, how does it work? How does it best well, work? I, what's, what's the best way to use Bitcoin? Let's say you have people I, I, and they love liberty. They, they love the idea of a completely unmediated currency. How do they buy it and how do they use it? Well, they, they buy primarily online, but that's really going to change now, uh, uh, Kennedy. And Bitcoin is really going mainstream. You're going to see, as I said, a lot more products that are just, you know, d uh, that you could put in your investment account, your trading account, for example, that track Bitcoin. But I have to say, the, the place where it's really the most sought after are places where there is no economic freedom, like yeah. Zimbabwe, like Russia, like Venezuela. These are the places where people are really scrambling for Bitcoin. Here in the States, it's basically just been a gamble. It's been a speculation and it's been a very good bet. Doesn't well, it mean also it can't has some very up. powerful forces against it. Like like the evil dark league or what do you say when that? Oh, you mean government? Yes. Yes, exactly. I mean, I mean, government doesn't like the idea of private money, Kennedy, and that's part of what's really got Bitcoin going and, and has created a massive interest, though. But I tell you, as someone who's done this since the, at least the mid-1990s, you have to scratch your head a little bit when people are piling into an asset that's already up hundreds and hundreds of percent yeah. in just a short period of time. So, you know, if, if Bitcoin is going to succeed as a currency, it actually has to maintain a stable value Ooh. because we have a word for things that continue to grow higher and higher and higher. They're called tool ups and eventually even those markets burn to the ground. And you can't tiptoe through those. Jonathan Honan, thank you so much. <laughs>